Hey guys. Let me get my comments up. How are y'all doing today? Hey everyone. So you have to forgive me, I'm on the smoothie cleanse and I haven't eaten anything solid today. So I have some boiled eggs and I have carrots here. So I'm gonna be eating while we chat. I'm very, very sad because of the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter. So I am still my bubbly self, but I am sad. I am devastated, like I just, I am a basketball fan and it's just taking me out. Like I just, I can't believe it. It's so crazy um, that this has happened to us. And um, yeah, it's really sad. Um, so today is our monthly live Q&A. So I promise you guys on YouTube every month, I'll come on here and I'll answer your coupon questions um talk about whatever sales i have going on promotions and things of that nature but the biggest thing is for me to give you a little dose of what my um swap maximizers get as far as lives coaches and things of that nature and just give you that peak um so first things first welcome my name is crystal hi hope thank you so much for being here my name is crystal i'm a coupon educator and shopping coach um coupon coach with kristamaximizer.com and i love couponing a lot of people always ask how long have i been couponing i am planning a video on my coupon journey but i've been couponing for almost 12 years i started in 2008 and i just love it so so much it brings me so much joy and the past two hauls i've did um as far as CVS today which is still uploading I don't know why it's taking so long it's been uploading for like almost an hour and Walmart yesterday have like reminded me why I love couponing so much and why it has impacted my life so much um so that's a tad bit about me um been on YouTube since August 2018 but like I said I may be new to YouTube but I'm not new to the couponing community because I've been couponing for a long time um and every month, like I said earlier, I pop on here and I share with you guys the top deal, top deals. Every month I pop on here and I do a live Q&A with you guys. So let's get started. You can type your questions in the chat. Again, I am eating because I haven't eaten all day. I've eaten, drunk my smoothie and that's it. Mm, I have boiled eggs, two boiled eggs. Then I'm putting cayenne pepper, regular pepper, and I have some iodized sea salt so that's why i was thinking about going to la yeah it's so sad hello anybody else having problems with crt's not printed the red box says sorry check tomorrow but it still says i have 50 um yes what is it clock La Catina. i don't know how to say your name um so i talk about this in my cbs video today which is not up yet it should be up at some point once it's done loading while we're on here i'm going to upload it but um let me see oh it says nine minutes left so once it's uploaded i'll upload it but um basically there's two things that you can do first as soon as you get there put your phone number in print what you can print second tip is go into your cvs app and i talk about this in my video if you're in your cvs app it's happening to everybody Okay, I don't send all of mine to cards. So this is what we do. You go to your CVS account, right? And you see at the bottom where it says show card. Click on the show card. Whoops, make sure y'all don't see my numbers. Click on the show card, right? And the barcode pops up. You can take that to the CVS um, red box and scan that too. So do your phone number and then do that. Then walk around the store and shop, okay? 15 minutes goes by. Go back. Put your phone number in again. Go back, put your phone number in again, and then you will be able to get more. So we went back to the red box three times, and every time I was able to print once for my phone number and once for my card, okay? And then any of the ones that you want that don't print out, just go to your account and add them in. 
um, and make them digital. So that's what I did to compare the red box not acting up. I think that's it's like a nationwide thing that's happening. I don't know why. Hey, Erica. I don't know why it's going on. Um, do you guys have any other questions for me? Um, around that. I talk about that in my thing. Our scanners don't ever work. Mm, that's weird. So you can't price check either? Because if your scan doesn't work, it means you can't price check. Yeah, I've been doing the digital. I've only done like one or two digitals. Mm. Tiffany, my next question is, do you have another CVS that you can go to? Yes, I know. We already talked about Kobe Bryant. I'm like in a state of mourning. I would say try to find another store. If you can. I know some people are like, oh, there's only one store in 20 miles. But like, if you can find another store, find another store. Yes, we talked about Kobe Bryant as soon as I turned this thing on. I'm so sad. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. That's honestly nothing that we can do. I can't do anything about that. If the scanner's broke, you're going to have to wait 15 minutes and then go back and put your phone number in again. Um, if you have a paper coupon, there is a digital of the same value. Can you use both? No. Let me get my coupon bag because this question happens so much. And personally, um, it's frustrating that it doesn't matter if a coupon is digital or printable. If it says manufacture coupon, you can only use one manufacture coupon per item. So I want to give a paper coupon and a paper, uh, a paper coupon and a digital coupon to show you exactly what I mean. Because if the coupon says manufacture coupon, you can't use two. All right, I'm going to use Nature Valley, for example. Because I know I have a digital of Nature Valley. Kinsley is asleep. She was not feeling too hot. So she ate and went to bed. All right, so... We're gonna go to my CVS account and I'm pretty sure I have a Nature Valleys in here. So let's see. Walgreens, let's see if I got one in Walgreens. Let's see. Okay, so we have one in Walgreens. Okay, you see how this says 50 cents off two. And when you click on it, it says a manufacturer's coupon. Do you see that right there? Manufacturer's coupon. You see how this 50 cents off two says manufacturer coupon? You cannot use these together. It doesn't mind. It's one coupon per item, a manufacturer coupon. So let me take this demonstration even further. We have two boxes of Nature Valleys. This coupon says 50 cents off of two items. So that means you can only use one manufacturer coupon for these two items. You can use this paper coupon or you can clip the digital, but you cannot use both unless there is a store coupon that's in here, okay? So let me see. I don't know if there's any um, Walgreens store coupons that you can stack. You can't. You cannot put them together. Does that make sense? A manufacturer coupon, no matter if it's paper, no matter if it's printable, no matter if it's digital, only one per item. And because this has two on it, it doesn't mean you can use one for each one. It means that this is for two items. So two items, this coupon, you can only use one. It doesn't matter if it's print or coupon. Yes, you can stack that, but you cannot stack two manufacturer coupons. It doesn't work like that. 
It's CVS, Walgreens, any store. No matter what store you're at, you can only use one manufacturer coupon per item. You can use a store coupon. The coupon rule is one manufacturer coupon and one store coupon per item. That's it. That is all. Hi, Chrissy. Hello, I'm never good at CRTs and I'm having a hard time couponing at CVS. Okay, Kimberly. Or you shop. And those you can actually stack on top of your um, CVS, um, on top of manufacturer coupons. CRT stands for cash register tape. It stands for a CVS coupon. That's just what we call it. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I didn't come up with it. Make sure you check my coupon beginner series. I'm going to drop the link here. Because it seems like a lot of people have been having a lot of questions, beginner questions, and I have videos about this. So I'm going to drop the link to my coupon beginner series. I have four or five videos in there just about CVS. I have four videos in there just about Walgreens. So everything that you need beginner wise is there. So save this link or you can just go to my channel, click on playlist and go to beginner series. Coupon beginner series playlist. Keep your questions coming. I'm going to put them in there as I go. CVS, Walgreens, it doesn't matter. Every store is one manufacturer coupon per item. Okay, so helpful. In regards to CRTs not printing, another couponer I watched says she had the same issue. It would print... And then say, that is all. She shopped for 15 minutes, came back. Yes, that's what I was talking about. You shop, about 10, 15 minutes later, go back and try to print again. I print with my phone number and I print, scan my card. Then I go and I shop. Then I go scan with my phone number and then I scan with my card. Mamita, CRTs are the ones that you can print. You know you can print it because it doesn't say app only. So in CVS, if you a manufacturer coupon, you can't print. An app only coupon, you can't print. The CVS CRTs are the ones you can print. Once I'm done eating my egg, I'll get my phone up and I'll show you exactly the difference. My guy finishes egg first. Yes, Erica said thumbs up, everybody. Okay. CRTs are CVS store coupons. No, Erica, I did not find my inserts. I don't know where they are. They might be in the car under the seat. I didn't see them. They're freaking lost. But... There's bigger problems in the world, right? People are dying every day. I'm not about to cry with some freaking inserts. <laughs> mm. So hungry. Okay. I have carrots too, but let me drink a sip of this water. Questions. I keep like filling the water up too much. It's leaking on me. Okay, so open up your CVS app with me. Mm. Okay, so here's my CVS app. Let me see if I can turn the brightness down. Here's my CVS app. Okay, you see it says all coupons. First thing you see. These are coupons that I already have on my card, so we're going to skip those. You see how this says app only? An app only means you can't print it. It means it's only for the app. It's a digital only coupon, so you can't print those. Can't print those, okay? So we scroll down. 
But an app only coupon is a store coupon that can be stacked with the manufacturer coupon. I am going to click this Tampax because I might buy those. And Pantene. And CoverGirl. So now, we're going below. Oh, all my CRTs must have printed. Yeah, all my CRTs printed. So, whoops. I'm not going to be able to show y'all any. Let me see. Oh, okay. This is a CRT that I added to my card. But this is one you can print. You see how it has this? This is a CVS. This is a CVS CRT that I could print. But I added it to my card because I was doing another example in store. And I added this to my card. So that's a CRT. App, excuse me. App only says app only. And then when you get down here... It says manufacturer deals. These are manufacturer coupons that you cannot print. These are digital manufacturer coupons. So remember, in my videos, I always tell you guys, manufacturer coupons come digital in the app. They come printable from coupons.com or another website, and they come in our inserts. So these are manufacturer coupons that are digital that you cannot print out, which I should have checked to see if there was a Garnier Fructis when I was in the store. Let's see. Oh, it's only a dollar off. Ugh, I can't live with that. It don't make it good enough. I need that four dollar off too. All of those coupons you can't print. Hopefully that makes sense. App only is just what it says, app only. And then any of the other CVS coupons that don't say app only, you can um print those out. You're welcome. She also scanned her card and put her phone over the wall. Do not disturb. I'm live. I'm sorry. You home? You always live. Where is my quality or I know. I'm going to call you once I'm done. But I just started like 10 minutes ago. Can they hear me? Yes. Oh, it's always awkward. All right. Okay. All right, okay, bye-bye. Got to put my phone on. Do not disturb. That's my sister. Okay. You're welcome, Kimberly. You're welcome. The register reward of $10. You cannot use it on an item less than $10. The store says a new policy. It's happened to a lot of people different stores. If it's true, please help. I don't know. I haven't used mine yet. I'll find out tomorrow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me read it. It doesn't say anything about that one there. It doesn't say anything about that one there. I'm going to Walgreens tomorrow, so we'll see. I didn't make it to Walgreens today. But I'm going to go tomorrow and see. I'll let you know. I'll say it in the video if it doesn't work. Okay. My CVS video is done processing, so we're going to have to upload that while I'm on here with y'all. Where do you get your inserts? Um, that's kids. If you watch my beginner series, I talk about it in there, but I get a yearly subscription. I get a yearly subscription from my local newspaper, so four newspapers get delivered to my front door every Sunday. And I paid $85 for that for the whole year. My newspapers in my area are $4 each. Okay. Make sense?
Next question. And you're going to get a notification because I'm posting this CVS video while we're on this live. When I use my BOGO Revlon coupon, the cashier wouldn't let me use points. BOGO Revlon coupon. I don't know why that... See, these are cashiers thinking they could do stuff. And when she would have said no, I would have been like, cancel. You can use points when you use a coupon. It doesn't matter. I would have been like, oh, I can't use points, then I don't want it. You are in control of your transaction. You can use points whenever you want. There's only certain things you can't use points on, like dairy, milk, um, eggs, certain food items. But for makeup, you can use points. Cancel. You can use CRTs and manufacture coupons. Yes, Andrea. I said this at the beginning. So if you watched the replay in the beginning, I showed how you can use them together. Hey, Jane. Also, they say I can only use it for Revlon product only. The $10 coupon is not true. I would go to a different store because that is not true. Now... This one you can only use on Revlon and all made lip products. This says on your next store purchase over the value of the coupon. Redeemable only of this stuff. If it was for Revlon only, it would look like this. But you can use it on anything that's not notated here. Postage stamps, dairy, um, alcohol. You can't use it on that stuff. But it doesn't say anything about only using it on Revlon. You're at stores that are making their own rules. So, speak to a manager. And if it's the manager, go to another store. Because there's nothing you can do if they're saying, oh, you can only use it this way. Unless you want to call corporate on them and say, hey, this isn't, they're not doing this right. But otherwise, I would go to another store because that doesn't make any sense. Oh, thanks, Shakira. That's awesome. Yep, another store. Hey, Jane. Jay Williams, I talked about this at the very beginning. I have been couponing for almost 12 years now. put my cvs video up as we speak because it took over an hour for it to upload okay i did cancel the transaction good janice because i wouldn't have paid you can use your ten dollar revenue which was anything besides restricted items yes you can um let's see you just have to read the coupon It says manufacture coupon. It says redeemable at Walgreens, but it doesn't say redeemable only at Walgreens. I would say, yes, you can try to use this at CVS because this one says redeemable. Okay, so if you look at this, this register board says redeemable only at Walgreens. This one just says redeemable at Walgreens. So, Yes, try to use this somewhere else. No, use this at Walgreens. I would try. Okay, what other questions do you have? I'm late, but good evening, everyone. Hello. What questions do we have?
Jackie, the first step to doing that is do you have a budget? Do you have a coupon budget? A coupon budget is step one. CBS. Jay Williams, I saved the most money at CBS. That's number one, Jackie. You have to have a coupon budget. Yeah, sorry, guys. It's low-key a mukbang bang because I haven't eaten solid food all day. And I'm on my smoothie cleanse. I'm on day seven right now. So I just, I just ate some eggs. And then I just... I'm eating carrots right now. So I apologize. I got, my, I got braces, so I'm probably chomping like a cow. Um, I'm missing something. Let me look at my comments over here. I'm multitasking. I told y'all I'm putting up this CVS video, so it's going to be up in about 15 minutes because I'm multitasking. What store do you save the most? I answered that. I know you only coupon it by what you need, but what's your favorite thing to coupon for? Mm. So I have a couple favorites. So baby deals baby deals oh my gosh so when i found out i was pregnant with kinsley i went ham and i was taking 20s and turning them into 40 dollars. so i would take 20 dollars and i would turn it into 40 dollars between coupons sorry coupons and cds and target y'all i killed it killed it on baby items so i would say baby items is one of my favorite things to coupon for then after that, I would have to say toothpaste just because I get it for free. Um, and then those two might be my absolute favorite favorites. Um, CVS, it's not CVS, Jesus. My brain is all over the place today, y'all. So it would have to be baby items and toothpaste. Yes, if you're a beginner, and a lot of my videos and everything, I always recommend you choose two stores to coupon at, and CVS is always one. Ugh. Can y'all get the troll? Hope or Erica? You got them. Thanks, Hope. Remove him, too. Oh, you timed him out. Just remove them next time. F that. Um, I also saved the most money at CVS. Yes. Can you explain the coupon budget for me? Um, yes, Jackie. I would give you the short version. Um, again, I have a um, I have a budgets playlist you can check out, and I also have a class you can buy that tells you in detail how to create a life budget a grocery budget and a coupon budget and the class is ten dollars you can take um and if you want more specific help i do also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions that you can pay for and i can help you tailor it to yourself basically you need to set a certain amount of money that you're going to spend every week i suggest 25 dollars per week for two stores and that is your out-of-pocket and that is what you stick to now jackie your out-of-pocket will be lower if you're only buying what you need you should not be buying stuff that you don't need just because it's a good deal because then your out of pocket will be high so if you focus on what you need only you should be able to stay within that $25 and that's just for couponing so if you have grocery items to get things that you need not just random stuff so I have videos you can watch you can purchase the course or you can try to get a one-on-one -on -one. Okay, that is it, that is all. I'm pretty sure I have a coupon budget video up. Mm 
So please, after this video is done, make sure you go watch CVS. Make sure you go watch my Walmart grocery. It was like a bottle haul. I got everything for, I forget how much. It was super cheap. Let's just, let me just tell you that. It was 14 items for $4 at um, Walmart. It included Tide. It included Gain, Persil. Ugh, one of my favorite hauls to date. One of my favorite hauls to date. So after this video, go watch it. Let the ads play through. Um, Let me see what else. What other questions do y'all got up in here? Let's see. Day seven. Yes, I'm on day seven. It's crazy. Budget of $50. What store can I save the most? $50 per week is too much, Jay Williams. That is too much money to budget. You need to cut that back. $50 is that a week or a month, Jay Williams? Because way too much. Guys, if you are a new coupon, if you've been couponing for about, did you pee? She just woke up. You want me to turn the cartoons on for you? Okay, I need a second. She woke up. I need to go put her cartoons on. You want to say hi? Don't pick your nose. Here. You can turn the TV down a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so yes, $50 is entirely too much money to give yourself to coupon. Way too much way 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 too much and okay i'm about to go on a little bit of a couponing rant so forgive me i did warn you couponing is strategic you don't just say i have 50 dollars. where can i save the most jay williams and i'm not trying to pick on you i'm just trying to be real here okay you don't just say i have this money what can i buy that is not the most effective way to coupon and where did I put my lotion that it's usually over here? I don't know. It's in that bag. I need my I need my desk lotion. I actually put it in my bag and I didn't bring it. I didn't put it back. And this lotion is about out. Couponing starts with a list of your needs. You should have a list of your needs. Go back and watch that live I did about the two lists you need. Okay? You need a list of your needs, and that is what you should be getting. You're not going to be just wasting money and just saying, oh, what can I get? What do you need? We get what we need, okay? You don't just buy stuff because it's a good deal, okay? So, Jay Williams, start with your list of needs, and then that's how you go about saving money. Because if something you need is not on sale this week, you should not be couponing. Unless you're getting the free toothpaste that I'm going to get tomorrow from uh, Walgreens. That's about it. Hey, Katrina. Uh, I wouldn't say I personally wouldn't agree with that, Ashley. I don't think Target is the best one to start with. Target can be uh, a little confusing, in my opinion. I went to Walgreens yesterday and I was told my card was shut down. And when I asked why I didn't get my $10 register award, it was horrible. I was treated as I was stealing. Oh, Dale, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I would call them. Example for CVS, guys. $2 off Vaseline CVS. Redbox plus a $126, 2 off Vaseline. Both come off to $0.79 cents out of pocket. 
Yes. Do you have Powell? What's Powell? I don't know what that is. Free or money maker toothpaste is the best. I figured you would say Eucerin. Um, I do like couponing for Eucerin. For sure. For sure. Because I really like the product. And I use it literally every single day. So right now for Christmas, my sister bought me some raw sugar. So I've been using my raw sugar. But for Kinsley, we use the Eucerin every single day. I would say I like to coupon for Eucerin too. I, um, honestly, I like coupon. What the heck? Oh, 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 I see what's happening. I like to coupon for what I need, y'all. So, but the things that I told you guys are my favorites. They are genuinely my favorite things to coupon for. Um, but I like getting what I need. I like getting what I need. I would say that's probably the most important thing to me is getting what me and my family needs. Everything else doesn't, doesn't really matter, honestly. It really doesn't. Okay, I think I'm about to upload the CVS video. So when y'all are done, go watch CVS. For everybody who's not watching me live, they're gonna get the CVS video right now. Cause it's 8.30 and this video should have been up like an hour ago. Okay, let me get back to y'all. What time is it? 37. At 45, I have um, an announcement. I was told that you can only redeem $10 Revlon, which I knew was a lie. Yeah, that is a lie. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jackie. Trying to listen to you, but hearing the hubby's TV, I know. I talked about Kobe as soon as I turned this on. I just, I can't believe it. He's only freaking 41 years old. And his daughter too, 13 years old. It's so effing sad. <sighs> so sad. Yes, everybody, click the thumbs up right under my face. I killed about it. Thank you, Erica. And I wasn't gonna go either. At first I was like, eh. But me and Kinsley was out there in these streets out here in these streets that was a great haul oh wait hold on wow that's awesome four bucks gotta go watch yes hope you have to go watch it um i got back 29 dollars and some change for my bottom wait did i get 29 dollars back total let me see i got 29 dollars for my bottom i think and i got let me see i don't want to lie let's see how much i got from my bottom I got back $26.39 from Ibotta, which included a $5 Weekend Warrior bonus, which I didn't even realize I was going to get. And I got back $2.75 from Checkout 51. So overall, I got back $29 and some change between the two uh, rebate apps. So, and I paid $33 and I got $29 back. Yeah, you can get Mike out as well. Thank you, Geraldine. And the fact that I was able to get Tide, Gain, and um, Persil, because y'all, my laundry room is like, I went to do laundry the other day and I was just like, <gasps> I was like, Crystal, you ain't got nothing up here in your, for yourself, sis. I was like, I don't got no laundry. So I was like, oh, I got to rebuild up this laundry. Um, okay, let's keep going. Okay, first thing. If you are not on my email list, type email in the chat. If you're not on my email list, if you do not get emails from Krista Maximizer, type email in the chat. If you are not on my email list, if you don't get emails from me, Click, click, type email in the email. <laughs> I can't even think. Type email in the chat if you're not on my email list. Everybody's saying hi to Kinsley. 
Her, the person who does her hair is freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. She does such a great job on her hair. Such a great job. How's your cleanse doing? I'm on day seven. I'm crunching on carrots right now. I've only lost about three pounds. I still have to upload my vlog, which I'll probably have it up to go up tomorrow morning. And then I'll have Walgreens go up in the afternoon. Um, I feel okay. I'm not hungry right now. I cheated accidentally on day four, like unconsciously cheated. And then I felt terrible. I'm going to do an extra day. So I'm going to go until the 30th. I'm, I'm just going to go an extra day or two. Because I really want to lose 10 pounds. So I have like seven more pounds to go, or like six and a half ish. I think I'm going to drink another detox tea today. So I can like. Yes, that's one of Erica's favorite words. They will be handless in court. Will call me tomorrow. Perfect deal. Have you heard others saying CVS isn't printing at the Red Box again this week? Only one print. And coupons printing on receipts. Yes, Shonda, we talked about this at the beginning of the live. There's a trick. And also, if you watch my um, CVS video, which I just posted when you're done in this live, you can watch my CVS video. I um, talk about that as well. I have anxiety all day. It's okay. I know you don't have Kroger, but I scored completely free toothpaste there today with two coupons. We got PNG inserts. I thought I was going to have to throw those coupons away. Great job, Heather. That's awesome. My newspaper went to five bucks each week. Family Dollar has theirs $1 coupons yanked from their location. Oh, no, that sucks. Diapers and wipes. Yes, Cynthia. Meat either. It's so sad. I can't believe it. Definitely tragic. Definitely strategic. Go after your needs that go on deals. My opinion, CVS the best one to start one deal at a time. Great because you can match manufacturer coupons, CRT, app only, and extra bucks. Yes, CVS definitely is a great place for a beginner to start. And in my video about coupon overwhelm, I talk about doing one deal at a time no more than four but if you're a beginner i would say do one or two breathe and then do one or two more don't try to go in and do 10 deals and don't do everything that you see someone else doing just get what you need okay let me give you a perfect example those spend 30 get 10 scenarios i see people every week even also at family dollar and dollar general every single week it's a bunch a bunch of household and laundry care yes we all we all need that, okay? But that's why I don't go to Dollar General every week because most of the stuff you can get is going to be gain and tied. So I will be honest with you that this week I may go to Family Dollar because I am very low on laundry care. I could add some of that to my um, stockpile right now. So I'm going to look up Family Dollar tonight and if there's a good deal I can put together paying like $13 or less out of pocket for $25, $30 worth of stuff, then I'll do the deal, okay? But... Every single week, I am not going to be going to Dollar General and Family Dollar and getting stuff, all this laundry care. I need laundry care right now, but I don't need to spend $13 every week to get it. Okay? Yes, Erica, I cried when I got home. I can't afford multiple copies going that high. Good for you, Dale. I tried Revlon deal last week where you get $10 register but didn't print for me. I used the BOGO PNG with my totals but for coupons was over $15. I was wondering what I did wrong. Um, I'm not sure, Arissa. I did it with $8.99. I had two $8.99s with the BOGO and I got the register reward both times. So I'm not sure. For this week at Walgreens, you can use the app coupon of $6,000 when you spend $30 in a paper coupon. Yet, always scan the paper coupon. If it rejects it, then you don't get it. But last week, it worked for me and I got a double dip, so... I was excited. And I got another one that I plan on using tomorrow. Cynthia says I've been getting a lot of stuff for free. Yes. Um, I got some bonus about picking a winner for the Super Bowl. I don't even know who I picked. I can't tell you. I just randomly picked someone and that was it.
Okay. Vicky said that's a money maker to me. Not to me because I'm getting $29 of the $33 I spent back. So it's a net cost of $4 for me because I'm getting my money back. And I didn't get back more than I spent. I spent 33 and I got back 29 Okay, so for everybody who's not on my email list, I'm actually doing a giveaway. The giveaway is good until January 31st. I'm in a contest to see who can grow their email list the largest. And I have the potential to win up to $10,000. Um, but I have until January 31st. I'm about 130 people away from my goal was to get 500 new people on my email list in one month. Um, and I'm excited because I'm only 130 people away. And I only started promoting this like maybe the second week of January. So I'm super duper 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 proud of myself. And just keep talking about it in every video. So long story short, I'm going to pop the link in the chat. If you would like to sign up for the giveaway, um, all you have to do is join the email list. Now, when you're on the email list, what are you going to get? First, you can't unsubscribe before the end of February. Because once I win, I'm going to be doing multiple giveaways. And if when I go to pull the winners on the first and you unsubscribe, you will not be eligible for a winner. I'm giving away a $25 gift card. And I'm giving away a one-on-one -on -one session. Now, with that being said... I can't even I'm talk right now. What are you going to get on the email list? You're going to get a weekly newsletter. I do a Maximizer Mail newsletter every single week. I give you video updates every single week. So you're going to get a list of all the videos that I've done. And I usually put pictures in. Last week, I forgot to put the pictures in. And my assistant sent the email. And I was like, I forgot the pictures. But it's okay. Um, Weekly, a weekly coupon beginner tip. So every week I do a beginner tip and I send out an email. If there's a video, I'll attach the link to get the video. This week it was on um, this week it was on Instagram, but it wasn't a video. It was just me writing out everything. You also get exclusive email only sales. So if you're on the email list, I sometimes send out discounts and sales promotions that are only available to the email list. And then the last thing is you will get sales emails from me. One thing I want everybody to understand is that I'm running a business. It is more work than money to make a YouTube channel, okay? So the amount of money I make off of one video is nothing into comparison. It typically takes me, it can take me up to about five hours for each video. And that's from the time my videos don't make more than $50. So that's about $10 an hour. And that's if they do. But they don't always, they don't always make $50, okay? They don't always make $50. So not to mention the money that's going out of pocket, plus the time that I'm spending to get you guys the video. So I'm saying all that to say that you are going to get sales emails from me. I'm going to be selling you products. Yes, I'm going to be selling you how to sell your stockpile because that is something that I'm not going to put on the internet. That is something I'm going to sell so that I can make money, so that I can pay my bills, but more importantly, so I can get these videos out. If I'm not making money, I can't do these videos. I'm going to have to go get a job. <laughs> because if I'm not making money, if I'm not making sales, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, every single video I give you on YouTube is free content. So I give you free content almost every single day. So a sales email a couple times a week, you know what I mean, is nothing in comparison to all of the free content you're getting. So I just want you to think of that when you see sales emails from me. So I have a budget class you can buy, stockpile class you can buy, beginner class you can buy. I have a monthly membership community you can buy into um, and get actually monthly coupon coaching. Um, so there's a lot of products. So you're going to get those emails as well. Um, so those are the emails you can expect from the email list. So here's the link. Sign up. You must confirm your email. If you have already signed up for the email list, but you haven't confirmed your email, you need to go back into your email, find the email from Krista Maximizer, and click confirm. If you're not confirmed, you're not in the giveaway. So here's the link for the giveaway. Click it. And you will be on the list to win the giveaway. The giveaway ends on January 31st. I'm picking winners on February 1st. Okay? Let's keep going. Lucky for me, I have one friend who gives me her answers from her mailbox delivery. Perfect. Kinsley's hair is beautiful. Thank you again. That's awesome. Vicki, you don't give me your email. You're going to click the link and you're going to put the information in. I got all my stuff ready for the cleanse tomorrow. Perfect, Erica.
Well, let's see. What cleanse are you doing? I'm doing the 10 day green smoothie cleanse from JJ Smith. I have some videos on my channel about it as well. Erica, I just wish more local papers, lo local low cost papers existed now. I'm new to Abada. How do I cash out to my bank account from Abada? I don't think you can cash out to your bank account. Let me see. I don't think so. I only cash out to PayPal or to gift cards on Ibotta. First, you have to have $20. But I don't think you can do bank account. I think you can only do PayPal or gift card. You can pay cash out to PayPal and then transfer from PayPal to your gift to your bank account. Yeah, there's no um, bank account option. So there's PayPal and then all these gift cards. That's how you can cash out when I bought them. Okay? So you can cash out to PayPal and then transfer that over to your bank account. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you. I feel like I can't decide how much to charge for newspapers. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, I have seen all but the CVS upload keeping up with my coach. Um... I just uploaded the CVS, so when this is over, you can go watch it. It was taking way too long to process tonight. I don't know why. L. Zimmer, hello, but it's Crystal with a K. Okay, I heard you backwards. Okay, no problem. And thank you guys for watching the videos. I appreciate it. To get more CRTs to print, you must do this. Scan your card, print, enter your phone number, print, wait 11 minutes. Yes, I've been doing the same thing. You put your phone number in, scan your card. Put your phone number in, scan your card. When you join the email list, please confirm. Yes, thank you, Hope. Let me go close the door. Kinsley, I need you to turn the TV down. I don't want to get a copyright. Is this what you want to watch? You don't want jelly? Yeah. Why? We don't have grape jelly? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Who here? Who here wants coaching? I'm going to do a little bit of hot seat, but I want to know what you want hot seat around. You want hot seat around couponing and budgeting, or do you want a hot seat around starting a side hustle? Let me know. Actually, we're talking about side hustle. Who's ready to start a side hustle? Type hustle in the chat if you're like, I want a side hustle. I did a poll on YouTube and like over 200 people said they were interested in starting a side hustle. So if you're interested in starting a side hustle, type hustle in the chat. I don't need any Revlon, but I hate to see these coupons go to waste. You can send them to somebody, but I want you to get out of the frame of mind of thinking that it's waste because you're not going to use every coupon that you have. Shonda says send them to me. Can't wait to watch. Hi, Nori. How do people get those big boxes of diapers? Cynthia Target. Target always has buy two, get a $10 gift card. I've been able to get those boxes for as low as $15 per box. Jaden, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here. Hey, Dumpster Diamond Girl. Okay, now we got hustle. If you are interested in starting a side hustle, type hustle. All right, I'm going to give you some tips. 
And we're going to pick somebody who wants to be in the hot seat. Who wants to be in the side hustle hot seat? Which basically means I'm going to coach you through helping you start. You want to be in the hot seat type hot seat and we gonna talk about it jane says i don't have any coupon buddies erica said hot seat who else? Uncle. Huh? Uncle. Kinsley says she hopes hope. <laughs> no, there's somebody's name named Hope. Mm -hmm. Well, Erica, if nobody else um says hot seat, it's about to be for you. Erica says someone else. Anybody else want to be in the side hustle? I said, like, I saw like six or seven people said hustle. Dumpster diving girl, Dale, Diamond, all right. Katrina. Okay, Katrina is in our hot seat. We're about to go. All right, Katrina, tell me if you already have a side hustle. If you don't, how much are you looking to make? Um... What are you looking to do and what are you looking to sell? And if you don't know any of that, then we're going to figure it all out. I haven't been getting much coupons in my Sunday papers in my area. Oh, that sucks. Are they delivering them or are you buying them? Make sure you check them before you buy them. Let me put my chapstick on and we're about to... Hot seat for Katrina. Okay, cool. Katrina is the chosen one. Give me the back, the back story. And then I'm going to give a little bit of tips really quick. That's how I do it, cash app to my bank account. I don't know about cash app. Katrina is a hot seat taker. Yes, she is. I get delivered. That's weird. Okay, so I have five random tips that I wrote down um, for choosing your side hustle. So a side hustle is basically something that you do on the side, not a full-fledged business yet. You're not going out and getting a business license or a business bank account. You're basically just doing something that you like to do on the side to make a little bit of money. Um, my first piece of advice is that your side hustle has to be something that you like or love to do. You have to like it. What kind of baskets? I'm going to be jumping back and forth. Katrina, what kind of baskets? Jewelry. And you said sing. Um... It has to be something you like to do. If you don't like to do it, you're most likely not going to be successful. This jewelry, are you hand making it? You have to choose something that you love to do. You have to like it. I started tons of side hustles and businesses with things that I liked a little, but I was focused on the money and I lost interest very quickly. The thing is, whatever it is that you're going to do, you have to be okay with doing it for a while without making money. Now, I know people, a lot of people want me to show them um, how to start a YouTube channel. That's going to be a whole nother story for a whole nother day, but I'm using YouTube as an example for this. I did YouTube for five, six months before I got paid anything, Okay. Um, some people did YouTube for two and three years before they got paid anything. Some people do YouTube for over a year before they get paid anything. Okay. So you have to realize that you may not make a lot of money in the beginning. And so it has to be something that you enjoy to do because otherwise, if you don't like to do it and you're not making money, you're going to lose interest fast. So that's number one. Number two is you want to pick a profitable product, something that you can sell. 
So Miss Jane, not Miss Jane. Miss mm. Katrina said she wants to sell baskets of her stockpile, jewelry, but it's from a company. What's your profit from that? And then she says she also sings. Okay. So first off, the first thing that I'm looking for when you're choosing your product is something that you have control over. So if you're selling that jewelry, they set the price, right? If you're selling that jewelry, they set what the things are. You just can kind of choose what you want to sell. Okay, perfect. She travels to sing. So what are you looking for help with? It seems like you've got a lot of stuff going on. So where's your area of help? What do you need help with? Because you're chewing, then you do it. So, baskets of stockpile stuff, jewelry from a company, just trying to make it more profitable, and singing. Okay. So, the things I. This is just my advice. I don't know any of the details on the back end. How much do you make from the jewelry? Does that require you to post a lot on social media? Are there rules you have to follow? For the baskets, that's up to you. You can do that. So with the baskets, you can set a certain amount of baskets you want to sell per week. What you want to put in the baskets. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about YouTube right now because that's a whole different story. You, I want to talk about side hustles outside of YouTube. I'm going to have how to start a YouTube channel. Right now, I'm talking about just the side hustle, but trying to advertise. Okay, so, all right. So, the thing is, doing these three things, we got to pick one. And I really, really, really hate to say that because I used to think of a person that I can do a lot of different things. You got to pick one and focus on that one. Focus on building your connections, focus on getting it good, focus on making money, focus on a marketing and a sales plan, because trying to do all three, you're going to sell yourself short. So I'll give you my own personal example. When I first got fired, I was going to do my recruiting and I'm just writing this stuff down. I was going to do Forex and I was going to do YouTube and I was going to sell my classes. That was four things. I found very quickly, like within the first month, I could not do all of those. I dropped Forex first because that was the thing that I was paying to learn. I was paying to get taught, but I didn't have time to learn because I could not drop the ball on YouTube. So I dropped everything and I focused on two things only because I've had my YouTube channel for a year and I knew what I needed to do. So because I had my YouTube channel for a year, that was already low-key mastered. I knew how I recorded it, recorded. I knew how I recorded. I knew how I uploaded. I knew how to do description boxes and everything. I had that done. So I decided to focus on YouTube and my classes, which also includes my membership community because I already had that. I wasn't going to drop that. So I decided to focus exclusively on Chris the Maximizer. I gave up the recruiting, even though I could make thousands of dollars. And I gave up Forex because I could make thousands of dollars. Okay. So YouTube and my classes. So you are going to have to pick at least one of these to focus on so that you can really make it profitable and make the money from it and put all your marketing into that. Like I did not want to have three different Instagrams marketing three different things. Not at that point in time. Okay. Because Forex and all that stuff on one thing is just too much. So you have to pick one thing. I don't see Katrina. You have to pick one thing. Yes, five dollar jewelry and thirty to fifty for the baskets. Okay, so paparazzi jewelry, I'm gonna assume. So these are two totally separate things, but they're both things that you can sell. So we are gonna focus. Which one do you want me to help you with the most? Singing in my baskets. Pick one. I need one.
All right. I'm going to pick the baskets because that's the one you have the most control over. Singing depends on you booking jobs with someone else. So, if you're selling these baskets for $40 to $50, how much money do you want to make per month? So, now we're going we're gonna to work this backwards. We're going to figure out her sales. She already told me how much her product costs. So, we, that's the second step. Choose your product and your price. Next, we need to make a marketing plan, a sales plan, and then we need to sell. Well, I coupon too, so the baskets are what I do in the meantime of singing. Okay, Katrina, this is said with the most love. We are trying to start a side hustle to be profitable, right? So what is the number one thing that you want to do? Couponing is almost like shopping. So we're not going to say that's a side hustle. The selling of baskets is the actual side hustle. So do you want to talk about singing right now or do you want to talk about the baskets we got to pick one so that i can help you focus will mobile massage therapy be considered a side hustle or a business do you have to have some license to massage people? I'm going to make a Valentine makeup basket for my stockpile. That's perfect, Ingrid. I'm just trying to help Katrina figure out one because you got to focus on one. So once you have that focus, we can pick on our marketing plan and our sales plan. So if we know how much the product is and you know how much money you need to make, then you can decide how many you need to sell. And then that will tell you your marketing plan. Most... Um, conversion rates are around somewhere around like 5% conversion. So that will tell you how many people you need to get in front of so that that many people can um, actually purchase. Make sense? So if you know that you want to sell like three baskets a week, then you probably need to market to about 20 people to get the three buys. And you have to take that um, research to see how much it will come back to. <laughs> she said do the gift baskets so we can all benefit from him from that yeah that's what i was kind of trying to get at so if the baskets are 40 to 50 dollars and let's just say we want to make 500 dollars per month is our goal of what we want to make how many baskets of that do we need to sell we need to sell 10 50 baskets or what like 12 400 baskets 500 divided by 40 yeah that's about 13 so let's just say we're going to sell, third. we need to sell 13 baskets divided by four. Do you see how I'm breaking it down? How much do you want to make? How much does it cost? And do it for the month. So if we want to make $500, we're going to sell 13 baskets. We got to sell 13 baskets and 13 divided by four. We need to sell three to four baskets per week. Okay. Three to four baskets per week. All right, so this is just my scribble scratch. So choose what you love. We chose the baskets. Choose your product and price. The baskets are between $40 to $50. We're going to just work with the $40 ones just so that we're clear. And we are going to choose a goal of 13 baskets per month is what we want to sell. Our marketing plan. Where are we going to sell the baskets, okay? If you sell them online, you're going to have to ship them unless you are selling them um in like flea markets or to friends or family that you can drop them off to so for your website you gotta think about all this do you want a website because you want to make it so you're not having to do everything all the time because if it's a side hustle you kind of want it to run a little bit by yourself so if we have to grab a website we want to grab the most affordable website we can get and then we also have to worry about shipping. Okay. And I'm going to give you um, choices for both of them that are very, very, very low cost. And then your sales plan. We already figured out that we want to make $500 per month. And that's three to four baskets per month. That's our sales plan. So for marketing now, we need to figure out where is our ideal client. So Katrina, what is in your baskets and who is buying them? So if it's a household basket, are we targeting moms? If it's a baby basket, are we targeting baby showers and new moms? If it's a makeup basket, are we targeting like 18 to 30-year-olds who are doing their makeup? 
that's what we need to figure out as far as marketing. So who are we selling these baskets to and where do they live? So if they're on Facebook, if they're on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, you got to figure out where they are. She says, I do all kinds of baskets. Okay, so we're just going to say that we are marketing to families who can get whatever in this basket. Most family-oriented people, you can find them on Facebook and email. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start some sort of social media, Facebook preferably, a Facebook page to start posting your baskets, which is a part of your marketing plan. Take pictures of your baskets, show what's in there, and then also show the value. I'm selling you this basket for $40, but if you go to Walmart, you're going to pay $65 for this. Make sense? Or you can market, I make custom baby baskets if you're going to a baby shower. Make sense? So I would say start with the Facebook page, and that's pretty much for any business. And then you can use that Facebook page to post your things there. The next most important thing, I don't want anyone to forget, I don't care what kind of side hustle you're doing, you need to collect emails. I'm going to give you some free service providers for emails. The one I would say would be MailChimp. It's free. But what I use is called ConvertKit. If you're interested in starting an email list, if I refer you, you can get your first thousand people on your email list totally free. And that's what I use to send out all of my emails. So if you want to start an email list, just email me and say, hey, I want to be referred to start an email for my business. Then I will refer you and you can get your first thousand subscribers for free. You don't have to pay anything. The reason why you need people on your email list is because YouTube, Instagram, Facebook could get shut down today or tomorrow. You don't own it. If YouTube gets shut down, all my videos are gone, I don't own it. But I have you on my email list, right? So you have to start building an email list. So I say you can start with MailChimp, it's free, or I can refer you to ConvertKit. Let me know. For a website, if you want a cheap product website, I say go to Big Cartel. Your first five products, the website is totally free for your first five products. Your first five products are free, okay? And then as far as shipping, there are, shipping is going to cost you. There's something called ShipStation. You can get one or two months for free on ShipStation. Um, but it allows you to make a purchase, somebody to make a purchase, and then you can print the shipping label right from your house. You do pay a monthly fee for that, but I think I pay less than $10 per month. And then your consumer pays shipping. So if the shipping is $6.95, the consumer will pay that. And then you'll have to pay like USPS or FedEx, that $6.95, to ship their products. But I literally print my shipping labels like for my t-shirts or anything right from my house. Because I have an account with USPS and that's free. So that at least 20 to 30 people to see those, okay? So this is the basics of what I'm going to be teaching in my side hustle on a budget masterclass. I'm going to let you know like for under about $150, you should be able to start your side hustle and start to make at up to $1,000 per month. Okay. Now, with that being said, the side hustle on a budget masterclass early bird special ends tonight. It's $45 off the regular price. Okay. Now, if you are interested, I'm going to pop the link in the chat. There's also a payment plan. So if you want to start and you're like, I don't have the whole amount, then it's a payment plan, a two-part payment plan of just $39. The masterclass is going to be on February 3rd at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live masterclass. It's going to be almost three hours where I'm going to go through all of this and more in detail. It's going to come with a workbook, a replay, and two weeks of email support where you can just ask me all your questions, okay? Um, I'm also going to have the opportunity at the end of it for you to purchase a one-on-one -on -one package with me. If you want me to help you one-on-one -on -one, um, as your side hustle business coach, that will be available as well. And I'm just giving you a little bit of insider information. So, Katrina, did you find this helpful? Anyone else, did you find this helpful for the steps that you need to do? You want additional information? Sign up for Side Hustle on a budget. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to help you all 
start your side hustles. And if you're someone who wants to start a YouTube channel in March, I do believe I will be having start a YouTube channel on a budget and I'll give you all of my tips and tricks and techniques on um, how to start a YouTube channel. So let me give you guys the link, the side hustle on a budget. Um, early bird ends tonight, tonight, 11.59 p.m. I'm taking it down from the website. So you want to get in right now. Okay, let me give you guys the link. You're not going to want to miss out on this. Um, and I'm doing this because I did a poll and over 200 people said they want to help with their side hustles. I'm doing this because I made a post about how I use my coupon savings to start my business as well as to go traveling to all these conferences that I went to and people were asking how I did it. Um, so I'm bottling it up and I'm doing it in a live class session. And then I'm also, like I said, going to be doing one-on-one -on -one sessions as well i'm going to be selling one-on-one -on -one packages so let me go through and see your questions Okay, so I was checking something. Okay. Okay, we did that. Sorry, I went to cut an apple and miss our class. Where do you get the couponer websites? Cynthia, what's a couponer website? What do you mean? I do all kinds of baskets. I like an apple as well with one pound. <laughs> with one tablespoon of organic peanut butter. Crystal, you need to be a business coach as well. Well, Erica, I'm launching my business coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Business coaching is going to be exclusive and one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm going to be having my packages launching um, on Side Hustle on a budget day. So and spots are going to be super limited. I'm only going to have five spots to start. Because it's going to be weekly one-on-ones. So. It's it's being, it's it's already created. I'm going to start it with the side hustle and the budget folks who bought the class to see if they want it. And if there's spots left over, then I'll open it up to the public. And I said this on my side hustle live. To date, I've helped about seven people start their side hustles. And I think three or four of them have turned them into LLC businesses. I've helped my mom, who is not tech savvy at all. Her business is completely like in person, hand to hand, no shipping or anything. She doesn't um, share on Facebook or anything. Oh, wait, I think I unplugged the wrong thing. I mean, let me take that back. She shares on Facebook, but like my mom isn't selling to strangers. My mom is selling to people that she knows. Um, so she's not big online or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Wow, awesome information. Great info. Katrina said. I still can't scan my CVS card because home office is a place and it's too old. It's in your app, Jane. You don't need you don't need the physical card. If you're if you have your CVS app right here where it says view card, that's your card. If you click this open, the barcode will pop up. Hey Diamond, I'm glad it's helpful. Big cartel product website ship station. Thanks, Cynthia. It's ship station. Yes, it was very helpful. Thank you. Okay, perfect. That was great information, Crystal. Very knowledgeable. Great info. Your video is kind of lagging. Sorry about that. Hot seat. Thanks again. That's awesome. I noticed that as well. Sorry, guys. My internet has been acting crazy. Okay. What other questions do you guys have before I go? I 
again side hustle on a budget master class early bird special ends tonight after tonight it goes back up to 99 dollars for the class and i think that payment plan is i don't know let me not lie to you let me go see if i can get that exact payment plan so you want to get it tonight right now two payments of 39 dollars otherwise it goes back up to 99 dollars I want to do the class so it's bad timing for me. Okay. I just gave up my side hustle because I haven't had customers over the year. I was making custom chocolates and baked goods for TV and comic series fans. Have you been promoting? Have you been marketing? Have you been reaching out? Did you have an email list? One of my goals for 2020 was to make a sale every single day. And almost, I think so far this month, I've had three days without sales. But... I'm showing up every day, letting everybody know that I have something to sell. I'm giving value every day um, and I'm sharing um, the goodness every day. So that is just my goal for the rest of the year is just to do everything I can do to get a sale every day. Will I get a sale every day? Probably not. But it's forcing me to show up every day. If I don't get a sale every day, I can't pay my bills. I got to get a job. So I don't have no choice but to push myself. Some days it's only $10. Some days it was only $5. But the point is, I'm showing up every day, email, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, to get those sales. Um, you'll be available. You'll be able to purchase the class after the live. It'll just be $99 for you to purchase. And you can watch it as your, at your leisure. Yay, Katrina, we're so happy to have you. I've been watching frugal videos, how to save, so hopefully some ideas would like to take your class one day. Okay. Um, when I signed up for mine, I signed up with a debit card. I don't think I could sign up with a check. You already used your January one, Hope? You should be. I don't know how to check. Maybe you can call customer service. I bought the year subscription. So I guess they just want to renew my year. I don't even know. How, I didn't even look and see how it works. Any additional questions? Now, not to... Yes, I'll post a link. Not to oversell you guys, but... Maybe the side hustle thing isn't for you. Is anybody looking for coupon coaching? Does anybody need coupon coaching, budget coaching? Um, you feel like you're not saving at the level you want to save? You feel like you are couponing, but you have a lot of questions. Um, you feel like you're missing out on some things couponing-wise. You feel like you don't have a budget. You need help with your budget. Does anybody need that? Yeah, Hope, I think if we go in here and you go into your accounts, Care Pass is, the Care Pass is in here. But it doesn't say how I pay. Why well, keep saying it's not recognizing my face ID? Mm. 
whoops. I don't know my CVS password. Let's see. There's the link for the master class. Is Care Pass with it worth it? Um, yes, Care Pass is worth it. You get a ten dollar extra buck every single month. Um, let me see. You get a ten dollar extra buck every single month. One to two day free shipping on CVS care items, certain items. You get twenty percent off all CVS health products. So the, my biggest thing with the care pass is the $10 extra buck every month because I pay for the year and now I'm like basically making $5 every month. If you pay monthly, it's $5 per, per month, but they give you $10 in extra bucks. So they're just ensuring that every month you're going to go to CVS and I go every week. So it's a no brainer for me. Uh, Hope going to your app. It should tell you what you use to pay in your personal account. Angela I D says coupon coaching. Too. Angela, my dear, are you looking for one-on-one -on -one or group setting? CVS Care Pass is awesome. You're welcome. I see 20% off under Care Pass, but I don't see the $10. I love Care Pass, and I get $5 for every 10 scripts. Yep, you get that as well. Um, Hope, did you use it already? We are at the end of the month. You might have used it because we didn't get to February yet. Either. Okay. Um, so Angela, I do have monthly I do have monthly coupon coaching. Um, so not just to Angela, who here has coupon questions that they've asked and never got answered? Type yes in the chat if you've asked the question of a couponer on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and you never got an answer. And you're just like, what the heck? Pensley. Type yes in the chat if you were just like, you posted this deal and now you won't answer my question. Kinsley, stop. I said, I said Facebook, Instagram. What? <laughs> now. I'm asking that question because that is how I started my coupon That's coaching, so which is the main focus of my business is coupon coaching. Kinsley, say good night. Yeah. Because a lot of people had questions and nobody got them answered. Yes, Angela, I know that you're already in swap for sure. So you're already there. But if you want one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to go the step further, you can purchase a one-on-one -on -one package. Um, that's the, that's the group coaching model. And then the one-on-one -on -one coaching model, you can email me and we can set that up because I haven't opened it up yet, but I do have it where you can buy one-on-one -on -one or you can buy a package. Um, but the group coaching, I was going to tell everyone, um, the reason why I started swap, the reason why I started coupon coaching is because people had all these questions and no one was really answering them. And I really wanted to fill that void in the coupon community to really, really help people. Um, so I really wanted to, I don't know, be supportive in a different way and help people in a different way and help people in a different light and really just be supportive and help people save money. Um, so I do have the monthly membership community that provides coupon coaching, budget coaching, saving coaching. And then I am launching a one-on-one -on -one program all around coupon coaching just to help you save at another level um so i was talking about coaching in the sense of me coaching you now if you want to become a coupon coach that's a whole nother conversation my dear angela but um email me and let me know what is it specifically that you're looking for angela so that i can help you yes now i see in my account it's on hold because i had to cancel my visa debit card and for being so thank you so much that's when I get my new product called CVS. Thanks a ton. Do not debit. Okay. Glad you're able to find out what's happening. Yeah, you can, um, you should be able to change your card too. So that is the extent of my coaching. So Angela, let me know what you're looking for and I would love to help you. 
So, what other questions do we have before I go? Because it is 9.30 and that was my quick time. Because I have lots of stuff to do. Oh, I see three people signed up. Hello, 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 guys. I'm so excited to have y'all. Katrina, Elizabeth, and Lakeisha. It's, we are getting our side hustles on. I'm so excited. Anybody have any questions before we go? Questions, comments, concerns? Crystal, you're crazy. <laughs> Questions. I'm so freaking excited. Ugh. So excited to have you all. Hi, Laura. Um, the early bird special is tonight. Oh, wait, Lakeisha, did you did you purchase the early bird or did you purchase the regular? Or did I give you guys the wrong link? Let me see. I think I gave you the wrong link. But I can, I'll cut it off. I can turn it off. I wish she would have told me. Let me give you the right link. But um, I will edit it for you. I will edit it for you. So that it only charges you twice. Okay, here's the right link. I apologize. Lakeisha, I'm going to put a note in here for yours right now. Okay, let me, um, Laura, the early bird special was tonight. It ends tonight. It's $65 or two payments of $39. Um, and Lakeisha, I will put in the note in yours right now and I can turn it off and I can, um, I can switch you over. Let me see. So one good thing I like this payment processing. Um, no, Katrina, I think yours is, yours is good. I think it's just Lakeisha. Let me see. Katrina, early bird. Elizabeth, early bird. Lakeisha is on the regular. So let me just change yours. Did you know about the 100K limit on points you can spend at Walgreens? Yes, I saw that in the account. I saw that... Um, Post it. So that means you only can spend a hundred dollars per day. Oh, that's not the right one. Let me go back. So I'm going to put a note here to 27th.
Sorry, I'm just fixing this for Lakeisha. Any other questions before I go? Okay, I got it in here to to not charge you, my dear. How long is the class? Oh, so the class is on February 3rd. That's a Monday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. It's about three hours. So it's going to be about two hours of content, two to two and a half hours of content. And then I'm leaving the rest of the time for Q&A. And I can tell you everything that we're going to go over if you give me one second. I'm just finishing this for Lakeisha. Okay, I fixed that. So everything that we're going to go over, side hustle on a budget early word, let me tell you. So everything that we're going to cover in the side hustle class is going to be first mindset. We are going over, um, I don't remember the name. Okay, Laura, I understand. Um, you do get access to the replay. I had it on Sunday, but then the Super Bowl Sunday, so I had to move it to Monday. Um, but you do get access to the replay, so you can watch it at your leisure, and you get two weeks of email support. So you can email me all your questions. The other thing you can do, Laura, is that if you know you want to come, you can email me your questions beforehand, and when we get to the Q&A section, I can specifically say, okay, this is Laura's question, and then answer your question so you can get it in the replay, if that makes sense. Um, but in the class, we're going to cover mindset, getting your mind right to start your side hustle, Focusing on what you love, choosing your side hustle, time management. How are you going to fit a side hustle in to all of the other stuff that you already have going on in your life? A full-time job, maybe you have a spouse, a family, pet, you have friends, a social life. How are you going to fit it all in? Creating a budget because, yes, this is side hustle on a budget. You are going to have to invest some money. Where are you going to get that money? Where are you going to find that money? How are you going to create that budget? Because um, everything has to have a budget. Couponing, groceries, your side hustle. You have to know what money you need, okay? Um, figuring out your ideal client. Who's going to buy this? Where do they live? How are you going to get it in front of them? Creating an action plan. Your side hustle structure and systems. So we talked about a website, a shipping platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Um, your marketing plan. How you're going to be in front of your clients. And then your sales plan to make up to $1,000 per month. So that's everything that we're going to be covering comes with the replay. So you're going to get the replay within 48 hours. You'll have the replay emailed out for you that you'll be able to keep. Then you're also going to get two weeks of email support. So you'll have until February 16th to ask me all the questions under the sun via email about your side hustle, starting it, creating it, and all that. And then you, it does come with a workbook as well. So you can work through it as we go through the class. You can go back to it. It's going to be all the prompts you need to like get it done. So that's the whole class. And I'm so freaking excited. Ah! Okay, let me scroll up. It is sorry. I'm new to coupon. And I think I'm an old a beauty event. Can you explain the coupon? versus points versus register rewards i'm a little overwhelmed and don't want to miss out um okay so i won't if you had that beauty coupon it was like what spend 25 get seven thousand points on top of whatever the deal was um so the coupon you have to scan it that spend 25 get seven thousand points and it has to be 25 dollars before coupons those points are just bonus points on top of whatever register rewards or points you're going to get. 
Uh, points is this, the Walgreens system of re rebates or not rebates. It's Walgreens system of bonuses. It's like Walgreens currency, Walgreens money. That's their points. Then the register of awards are manufactured coupons issued by Walgreens that you can use to buy things in the store. Um, so if you have something else, let me know if that answers your question. Thank you so much. I love your videos. I click quick when I saw diapers that you talk about them in this video. Um... No, I didn't talk about diapers this video. In CVS? No. Um, I do have a video on how to save money for baby items. Have you watched that video? I don't even know where it is. I, let me see if I can find it for you. I did like a baby care video. Mm, let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. Save on baby items. So that's how to save on baby items. And then Erica Dale, I do have a full beginner series that I can link here for you, for you to like get started watching all my videos I have specific videos on CVS and specific videos on Walgreens that should be able to help you out so much um, I also have a coupon coaching monthly membership community that you can join where we talk about couponing budgeting and saving at a deeper level um, it also gives you access to me in the form of getting your questions answered every single day if that's something that you're interested in because I know as a new couponer you have a lot of questions and not everybody is answering them. So if you want your questions um, because getting your questions answered is essential in couponing and just having some guidance, having a coupon lifeline and having a supportive group um, of maximizers to help you along the way. So I'm available as well if you're interested in you know, maximizing your life. We do budgeting, we do goal setting, and we do a couponing topic every single month. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. We'd love to have you in the group. Everyone who's joined has joined our wall of fame. And because I'm feeling nice, if you want to join, I'll give you a discount code tonight because I'm feeling sad about the whole Kobe Bryant thing. So if you want to join, I'll give you $5 off your first month. So instead of being $15 per month, it'll only be $10 per month. I'm, I'm sorry. It'll only be $10 for your first month and then $15 per month moving forward. Um, let me make a coupon code really quick. And then if you want to join, you got to join during this live though. This coupon code is only going to be available for the next like hour. So let me make it real quick. So if you're watching the replay, maybe email me and I'll be nice. Um, but let me create a coupon code really quick. <laughs> oh, the code is going to be Kobe. I'm so sad. Mm. Oh, guys, I'm so sad.
the coupon code is gonna be Kobe. So if you wanna become a swap maximizer and get $5 off your first month, use code Kobe. <laughs> I'm so sad. Let me make sure it works before I give it to y'all. Okay, it worked. So if you want to become a SWAT maximizer and join this month, use code Kobe. I'm so sad. I can't believe it. Okay, Lakeisha girl, I got you. I guess is when I use points and register rewards. Okay. The easiest way I can explain this before I go is Walgreens. If the deal says when you spend, so spend 25, get five, spend 30, get 10. No, don't use points don't okay so if it says when you spend use points you won't earn points when it says when you buy right so buy to get three thousand points you can use points you will earn. so buy 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 you can use 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 spin 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 is a no 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 okay that's the simplest way i can explain it to you and then as far as register rewards goes i have a perfect example right here using one of my favorite snacks my nature valley bars okay so we have and we have this 50 cents off two a register reward coupon and we already talked about at the beginning of this live that you can only use one manufacturer coupon and one store coupon per item right so if we already had a 50 cents off coupon this is not cvs you can't just use this okay so when you hear people talking about you gotta have a filler you gotta have a filler you have to have an item that doesn't have a manufacturer coupon uh-oh i see that i'm a little bit like weird can, are y'all still there i don't see comments coming through can everybody still hear me you gotta have another item so now we can use this registerable because we have an item that doesn't have a coupon and then this ten dollars will come off of the whole transaction but you see how i had to grab another item at CVS, you can just throw an extra buck on top of anything and it'll work as long as, long as it's not dairy, cigarettes, prescriptions, and all that stuff. But at Walgreens, this register reward, you have to have another item. So hopefully that makes sense. You hear people talk about a filler, a filler. No, you just need another item that doesn't have a coupon attached to it. Make sense? Okay, I see myself. It came back. So who was asking that? That was... Um, Erica Dale, best and least expensive online cart service. So Jane, if I'm being 100% honest with you, I only have one online cart service that I've tried. Um, like, so I've used the Big Cartel, but if you, that's a website. I've used, what else have I used to pay for stuff? I've just used like a generic PayPal or whatever. But right now I'm using Sam Cart. And I will say that I love it. The plan that I have right now though is $99 per month. But for the amount of money that I'm grossing, it's well worth it. And it processes everything. It processes my membership payments. It, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry about the membership. Once you sign up, it charges you every month. If you don't, if you miss a payment or the payment fails, it emails me, it emails you. I can send you an email that says update your credit card. 
but I love Sam's Card. It shows me all my sales. I can see my sales by day, by customer, by everything. So they have a lower plan that's like $50 per month or $49 per month, but it's worth the $99 for me, especially because I have the membership and I process well over $99 transactions. So it doesn't limit me to like X amount of transactions and then you have to pay more. It's just one flat fee. And then so those payments go through Sam's car. And then those sales pages that you see, like um, I'm updating my website right now because I want my website to be a little bit, I want my website to be better. But like this side hustle. Come on. Okay, there's, there it is. So you're going to click side hustle on a budget and then you get brought up to the Sam's card. And this is all Sam's card. Erica, I have a donation link. I just don't have a donation section. I can give you the link. I just don't have a section because I haven't updated the website. So all of this is just Sam's card. So I don't technically need a website, but for me, I want to say, go to kristamaximizer.com and get everything. Right now, it's not set up the way I want it. So over the next day or two, my goal is to have it done this weekend, but over the next day or two, I'm going to have it all done and ready to go how I, how I envision it in my head as a one-stop shop, okay? Okay, let me go back to the comments. So we talked about Sam's Club. I haven't seen the... I put the link to the baby video above. Did you get it, Cynthia? Let me go back. Did you get the baby video, Cynthia? Okay, perfect. You got the link. I know a lot. The video didn't do that well. Like, only like 500 views, which I was surprised about. Um, I'm like, all these people have baby questions. Okay. Hey, Chris, I'm just tuning in. Hi. You're welcome, Lakeisha. I got you. Thank you. Had a Facebook page. Okay. Whew, my Wi-Fi is like acting up. Erica Dale, please. Walgreens confuses me too. Swap is awesome. Yes, it is. Nice. Please send me the info. Erica Dale, I just linked it down below. Um, I'm going to leave the Kobe code up for 24 hours. And then that is it. Only because I'm like in a somber mood. So you can get $5 off your first month. Um, and then moving forward, it will be $15 per month. Reasons I love Chris and Max much. You keep sponsoring stuff we really need. Not just getting stuff because it's the lowest price. Razors. Yeah. Where do you make a coupon code? Um, Walgreens confuses me too. Cynthia, have you checked out my beginner series? Make sure you check that out. Um, I just posted that link there as well. Um, this is I'm making a coupon code for my Sam's Cart website. That is where I sell my products and I sell my services. So I can make a coupon code for anything that I sell on my website. Okay, what do you want? You can't stop the line. What do you want, Kinsley? To eat. Hi, everyone. Hello. Mommy sing. Hi. Hello. Hi, Princey. Yes, it's Hello. Hard weekend. Yes, it's been such a sad day. Yeah, I had to stop watching it too. I'm having trouble getting enough from my savings versus out of pocket what do you mean jane i'm having trouble know. getting enough from my savings apps versus my out of pocket Hi. it's gonna take it takes a while for you to build up here okay. it takes a while for you to build up to be able to cover all of your state all of your couponing with your rebate apps it takes it took me a few months 
and a lot of referrals to get to the point where it generates enough. So it's not going to be immediate. It's not going to be, it's not going to be um, one month unless you are doing everything that we went over in the um, is beautiful i love it say thank you thank you unless you're doing everything that we went over in that master class and consistently every single week or you can do what i did and you just lower your out of pocket to whatever money you have so say this week you only have twenty dollars that means you're only spending twenty dollars so you have to decide what are your top three things that you need and get those? Because my first month, I was making $55 per month. But when you think about that per week, right, to go couponing with, um, that's not even $20 a week because you need $80 to get to $20 per week. Okay? Right. P&G every day won't ever let me print coupons. Um, you can create a new account. Sam's car, he talk about Kiss Bomb all the time. I had a five dollar on CRT, so I'm so pressed to see how it compares to Nivea. I love <laughs> Kiss Bomb. Ingrid. Hold on. You should put a donation link on all your platforms. I know, I know, I should. Yes, I got the baby link video. Yes. So Ingrid, Erica wanted me to create a donation link so if people feel so inclined to donate and give me a few coins yeah, no, we, 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 that they could do it. Um, so I created a link. I just haven't um I just haven't like put it on my website or Facebook or anything like that. Yes. Erica said yes. Mommy. I know. There. Basically, this is a name your price. Stop. What are you doing? I thought you were going to give yourself a paper cut. Yeah. I haven't even made the web page. This but don't give you a paper cut. Like, if something gets sharp on the bottom, it will give you a paper. So, basically, it's just a name your price. So, you can just, as long as it's a dollar or more, you can donate whatever you want. So, I just have to put it on my website. can be a paper cut. I'm losing on Walgreens the points. You're losing what? Said, yeah. I know. Yeah, so I have the donation link. I just have to get it up on the website. And I have a lot of updates to do to the website, which is a part of what I'm doing tonight. Okay, one last question. Maria, what do you mean about you're losing the Walgreens points? And then after that, we're going to go. Uh, does anybody have any last minute questions? A lot, a lot of you with donations links on the platforms. Yeah, I know. I need to put it there. Or some people will have like, buy me a cup of coffee, even though I don't drink coffee. Cause they me buy me a hot chocolate. Mama, we love hot chocolate and brownies from Target. But yeah. you never let me get some. I do let you get some. But not all the time. All right, my friends, last minute questions. Maria, are you gonna clarify? Erica said LOL. That was my toe. No, yeah, I thought that was a little looking me on my toe. Any questions before we go? Oh, Side know. hustle on a budget, membership community, use that $5 code. It's expiring real soon. Every time I go to the point, I go to that store, lose point. They say I don't have points in the receipt way I got. I don't understand. Are you using the same phone number every single time? Are you looking in your Walgreens app? Does it tell you how many points you have? Can you stop touching this? Um, a sandwich or get something from the fridge. Ham, go get some ham. I want some. I'm not cooking beans. Go get some ham. I don't want no ham. Go. I don't want no ham. 
Yes, but you don't you don't want to send super chat here. You can send a donation if you want to send me a donation. I love y'all so much. Here is the donation link. Uh 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 donation link. Um, so look at your Walgreens app. Your Walgreens app updates in real time and tells you how many points you have. And it should show up as long as you're using the right phone number. Let me see if I can pull mine up. My one-year-old grandson, Kendrick, is watching this live with me. He's waving at you, but doesn't realize you can't see or hear him. Hi, Kendrick. Hi. Nothing. So right now, this shows me all the points that I have. You see, I'm in my Walgreens account. 32,000 points. Yes, I can get you a waffle. And then I need to spend 21 more dollars to get my beauty rewards. So yeah, make sure you're using the same um, phone number every single time, Maria. Okay? Because if you have like multiple phone numbers or multiple accounts, that could be the reason why they're not showing up your points. I mean, this one is almost done. Well, yeah, we'll flip it over so we can use it all up. Okay. Then we can use the, all, the other one. Yes. All right, my friends. Said it five times. Last minute questions before I go. Questions, comments, concerns. Also make sure. Hold on, what did she say? She said, also make sure that your that is your name that they're clicking on to always ask. It's zero points on the app. Hmm, that's interesting. That. Yes, Maria asked. I had someone else under my name also called corporate and they spoke with each other account holder and they either deleted it or changed the number. Hmm. Was that a way to help a bottle or fetch gear saves with me instead of snack chunk? No, Jane. Those apps only provide what they have in there. So you have to go by those. I would say use flus. Um, but there's no way to um get them to give you what you want to get so you just have to get what they have or i would say use flus to get all your um all your stores that you're going to you're shopping at i would say i don't know what the heck that is <sighs> i'm sorry i got distracted i was like what is this Use flus, scan your receipts and fetch, and just do the deals that you can in our body. There's no way to like get them to have what you want in there. Now you can scroll through to see if there's anything that you need. So like when I was doing that at Walmart to do those Walmart deals. All I did was I went to Walmart and then I just scroll through to see what they have. And that's how I found the stuff that I wanted to buy. She says she means that her points disappear probably due to someone else having an account under the same name. Kinsley, can you go get your iPad to see if maybe you can call your dad? Go get your iPad. Your dad's asking to talk to you. Um, so when she earns her points, yeah, that is, that is probably it. Or someone else is using your phone number. Yes, that makes sense that somebody else has the same name or the same using your phone number. And that's why your points are disappearing. Ah, that makes sense. Gotcha. All right, guys, it has been great. Okay, I should call them. Yeah, the Walgreens corporate office. It has. All right, we'll come and use my phone.
The Wi Fi is not working? Yeah. It's not? No. So it has been a great night. Please, if you are not on my email list, sign up. I'm doing a giveaway here. I'm doing a giveaway. All you have to do is pop on the email list. Oh, here, turn, turn it up. Go to the room. Um, you can pop on the email list and enter in the giveaway. I'm giving away a $25 gift card and a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So just sign up, get on the email list. If you're not there already, I'm going to pop that link in the in the chat box one more time. Side Hustle on a Budget um, Early Bird Special ends tonight. So if you're interested in getting everything you need to start a side hustle, click that link, sign up. Price goes up to the regular price of $99 tomorrow. Um, and I think that's it, y'all. I don't see any other questions popping in here. Make sure you get into this giveaway and pop on the email list. If you think someone is using your phone number, ask them to establish a pen and send zip code. Oh, that's good. Hey, Teresha. All right, y'all. Oh, serious over here. Thinking I'm talking to her. I'm on email list. Woohoo, yes. And make sure you guys are confirming. I'm going to go and I'm going to send an email out right now to everybody who hasn't confirmed. Um, or I'll get my assistant to send it tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, more people have signed up. All right, so right now we're at 377 people on that list, and my goal is to get to 500, and we have about six more days to get there. Um, so, yeah, everybody who's not confirmed, let me get you confirmed. But I just want to thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you next time. We'll be doing another live Q&A. Um, oh, before I go, I want to let you know that we are having a virtual birthday party for me on sunday february 26th my birthday is actually on the 15th but we're having it on a sunday um i don't know the time yet you need to get out of my freaking oh god the trolls <sighs> sorry we're having a virtual birthday party I don't know the time yet. It's probably going to be around 8 o'clock around this time. And I'm going to chat it up with y'all. We're going to have topics. I don't know what else we're going to do. Um, but if you'd like to send me a present for my birthday, my P.O. box is in all the description boxes of all my videos. And we're just going to be chatting and having a birthday party for me. I'll have a carrot cake over here because I love carrot cake. And I may or may not be eating crabs. I'm definitely going to eat crabs on Saturday. If I have leftovers, I'll eat the rest of them on sunday so we'll have another mukbang type thing like i did today um so that'll be the next time i'm live over here and there's gonna be some fire things happening in february because it's my birthday so i have some killer sales coming so if you've been wanting to get some of the master classes not the side hustle master class but like the budget master class the beginner master class all your stockpile stay tuned because there's an amazing sale coming the birthday bundle is coming. You're not going to want to miss out on that. And there's also going to be another swap sale. Um, just because it's my birthday month, I'm like, whatever. And just so you guys know, enrollment for swap is going to be closing in March. It's going to be closed for a few months. Um, so stay abreast of the emails that are coming out for all the amazing sales for next month. So again, you guys have a great night. And I will see you on February 16th, if not before, for my birthday, uh, for the virtual birthday party.